Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we teamed up with our new party member, Zushin. Um, and Zushin is going to be quite helpful in this era. He is our spellcaster, <coughs> like Alice, but he's a lot stronger and will be a lot more helpful than Alice is at the current time. But uh, let's talk to this dude here, Wandering Mayon, and um, he can do some acupuncture for us. Uh, yeah, oops, sorry, but... He's basically uh, just telling us about he can make our weapons better. Alright, acupuncture can make your weapon stronger. You can increase the attack power of your weapons, or you can increase the hit area. You can do both. Um, now, if you do attack power, you may notice that it shrinks your actual radius. Um, that's to you know, compensate for you actually increasing the hit area. But, um, you know, I'm not too worried about it for now. I think I'm going to keep my... I'm not going to upgrade my weapons. It costs a little bit more money than we have. And we... Fuck. We got some new enemies here. A zombie, it was old, but the ba guy in the back there is Canis. Eh, I knew I should have blocked. Whatever. Poison? Screw your poison. I ain't worried about that. I'm worried about this, though. This could hurt. Especially if he goes after Alice. I hit Zushin. Now, this is why Zushin's good. Watch this. Yeah, I almost didn't get that. Yeah, look at that damage. Takes him right out. And Alice leveled up again. Sweet. It's more soul energy. Now, like I was saying, without getting interrupted, um, I know there's something we need here. I think, oh wait, no, not yet. We can't do it quite yet. No, I, no, I, I believe I missed that. Oh, crap. What smell? I don't smell anything. I mean, besides this blood and this pile of body flesh stuff. I don't know, Pops. What did you eat? Garlic? Did they eat garlic or something? I didn't mean to walk down here. There's an item I missed somewhere over here. I'm trying to find it. There it is. Hey, bronze arrowhead. Alright. Let's move on. Let's go back to Granny's house. While I hear, I should probably... Yeah, let's go ahead and use a tent. I got plenty of them. It helps early on. Oh. Looks like Cat Lady popped up again. Go away! No! We gotta kill you! Get back here! Oh, here comes another. Alright. I'm back. Just stupid random battles. What's going on here? Yeah, right? If you control him, can't we... Well, yeah, he he's Zushin. He's crazy. Or he, the Quack Oracle. <laughs> Ready to say uncle, old lady? And, uh, yeah, this is a problem. She keeps teleporting everywhere. It's a bit of an issue. Anti-cat powder. He carries this crap on him? <laughs> yeah, that's what that old lady was smelling. Oh, I thought it was just, you know, your regular B.O. Well, uh, let me hold on to some of that for later. Cheese makes me have all kinds of problems. Metal vessel and a torch. Alright, well, I'm sure we can find something like that in the town. Uh, no, okay, we're good here. I don't think there's anything in here, so... 
Now, the metal vessel is back here where the merchants were earlier. Well, these people. No. Ah, Alright, taking care of those freaking random encounters up. Our malice went up just a little bit. Not too worried about it for now. Here we go. Here's the metal vessel. Just what we needed. And we get another little mini game here. Very simple. And the torch is back at the gate here. Should be, anyways. Yeah, there he is. Receive the torch. Alright, now that we have everything that uh, we need, let's head on back. Ah, oh, man. Huh, on that last fight, Alice was actually strong enough to uh, beat an enemy with her book in a full attack. <laughs> it took all three hits to do it, but she killed him. Alright, let's do this. Let's lure her out of here. Let's do it! Holy crap! Spraying... Kool-Aid powder everywhere. Well, I take it she didn't like that. What is she popping out of? Like, a dimensional void or something? What the hell is she... How dare you! I'll show you all! You're in big trouble now, mister! Bend over for a spanking! Four? Not really boss time. I guess it's... Sub-boss. <laughs> Can't call this boss time quite yet, but I'm gonna go and turn into Death Emperor for shits and giggles. <laughs> ah, let's do it! Wait, what is that? Drain wave? No, I don't need to do that. It's just attack. Stupid cat person thing. Let's see, all she's got is cure, so we're gonna defend on that. Ogre Flame Dance! Go! Damn, I missed. Just barely. Forty damage! Nice! Ow! Yeah, just keep defending with Alice in this fight. And then heal when necessary. Pretty straightforward battle. I mean, none of these fights are going to be too difficult for a while. There we go. Perfect action. Burn, you stupid cat! I'm not really a cat person here, is I? To be honest with you, I mean, I like kittens and all, but I'm kind of allergic to them, so <laughs> kind of not the biggest fan eyes itch like crazy, man, and just can't stop sneezing, throat itches, it drives me insane. You can see, he's getting weak. He's getting weak. Damn it. Oh, doesn't matter, we finished it. Dead. We got 120 experience, a lottery ticket, and some money, and Alice learned a new spell, the Holy Edge, which basically makes your attacks have holy properties. Yeah, stay down, you ugly hag. Well, yeah, I'm a dude. Too bad, accept it. Oh yeah, we do gotta deal with Yamaraja. She did say something about us not being able to leave unless he's dead. So-called shrine. My so-called shrine. Alright. Yeah, why do I keep searching here? I don't know why I want to keep doing that. Let's go and heal ourselves up real quick. For going on and taking that dude on. But yeah, our malice is getting pretty high up there. Um, here's some stuff I wanted to show real quick before 
we go and try to take this boss on. Um, if you go to the library, every enemy has a little, you know, it's your beast here. You get to see uh, description on any, every enemy in the game, which is really cool because some of them, I mean, they're pretty good descriptions and they're very messed up. Some of them are just disturbing. Look at this one. Vengeance of kittens killed by humans. It is blood is full of maggots. It fakes the cry of babies and devours the mothers that come to check on them. That's just messed up. I mean, in a lot of these, and look, he's a light element, which makes no sense, but a lot of these descriptions are really messed up. I'm not going to go over or look over all these things. Maybe a couple that are, that I remember are pretty cool, pretty messed up. But, um, for now, we're not going to do that. And here's our score. You can see my perfect rate is pretty ass right now. It's 27%. <laughs> I'm not really trying to go for, you know, perfect hit. Uh, but I'm going to end the episode here before our major boss fight because I don't want to have to interrupt them, you know, in the middle of it. So, this is Zangfei500. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care.